Hi everyone, Phil from tech for Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at this unique mouse what weighs only 59 grams and it comes in at under 50 euros. It's the M42 RGB from Extrafy. We have links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well, and that way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel, and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos, and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the extra fine mouse. It's the M42 RGB Ultra Light Gaming Mouse, designed in Sweden, RGB LED. It's got the extra fine EZ cord, so I'm presuming that means it's a unique cord for whatever reason, but we'll look into that in a few minutes. And you've got adjustable size, so you can actually take the top part off or the back part of the top and replace it with another piece and it allows you to change the shape of the mouse slightly depending on if you prefer the standard sort of grip or you prefer claw grip depending on obviously your preferences as you can see on the side of the box it just shows you the mouse itself with rgb light and effects on it's got hangy hook on the top on this side it's got some writing basically saying ultra lightweight, it's a adjustable symmetrical shape and pro grade components. So pretty standard sort of stuff, at the bottom you've got obviously serial numbers and stuff like that but nothing of really any concern to most people. On the back of the box it shows you all the dimensions of the mouse which is pretty good. You don't usually see this on most mice so you can actually see how tall it is, how wide certain points of it are. That's pretty good in all honesty. It's a lot better than a lot of mice you get. And then you've got a bit more information about the product on the back than basically selling the product to you. Okay let's have a quick look inside the product itself or inside the box should we say and see what we've got. So that's quite an attractive design for the inside of a box. The inside front has got a nice bit of foam to protect the mouse in transit which is always good. Uh, not that you're probably going to use it again once it's been done. And then inside you've got the mouse. We'll look a bit more at that in a minute. You do have two keycaps you can use on here. If I can get them out, there we go. Looks like your standard cherry design keycaps. These can be used on your keyboard if you wish, obviously, if you've got one of these fit. So generally mechanical keyboards. They don't seem anything special, but it seems good enough uh, for what they're supplying. So you can, well, change whatever key you want, really. Uh, and then you've got another one here as well. So that's pretty good. So it's a nice extra to have included. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. First of all, you had this little like envelope, which includes the manual, a nice little sticker here as well. So obviously you can stick it on your case or wherever you want, as well as some extra feet for the actual laptop. So glide pads or whatever you want to call them, which is always nice to come with some extras because they can get worn out and peel off depending on how you use it. Obviously you've seen the box, which is there, and then the extra couple of keycaps you can use on your keyboard, which is an added bonus. The manual itself, if we'll have a quick look at it. So on this side here, it shows you how to adjust the RGB speed and different effects, as well as the button on the bottom pressing it, what it actually does and so forth, which is good. And then on this side, it shows you even more options as well. So you've got a lot of options there to change the RGB effects without having to go into any software or anything special to adjust anything. And that leaves us with the mouse itself and the extra back and that really depends on if you prefer palm grip or claw grip depending on how you use a mouse. If you're not sure, palm grip is where you let the back of the mouse rest into your hand Claw grip is where you have your hand sort of floating above the mouse. So it really depends on what you prefer. And just a side on view, that sort of claw grip, palm grip is more like that. 
and depending on the back you use, while there doesn't look huge difference, it just adjusts the back slightly so it will be more comfortable depending on which version you prefer to use. So a lot of mice you go out and buy, it's either palm grip or claw grip design. Well, this is both in one, so you can have it either way. Even better, if there's two people who use the same um, computer, you don't have to use two separate mice. So if one prefers palm, one prefers claw, then you can adjust or just take the back off and replace it with, a, with the other one. Uh, on top of that, these backs are interchangeable between all the other models they do have available. I'll show a picture just above with all the different colours, um, but there's quite a few of them out there, but you can interchange the back. So if you did for any reason have two of the mice, one let's just say white and one black, you could take the back off of the white one and put it on the black one and vice versa. But obviously that's totally up to you. There is no software with these, um, or at least none that I can find. The only information regarding software I can actually find is there is a manual online on their website, there is also a firmware update, and there is also a 3D file for swappable back. Well, that's basically a 3D file so you can 3D print your own back. So you can obviously print it whatever color you want or design or probably edit it probably slightly depending on if you know what you're doing, which is an extra bonus. Okay, so the mouse itself. So you've got your traditional left, right mouse button. You've got a wheel, which actually does feel quite nice. What's also got a button on it. It's not loud, but it's got the, you can feel each step on it with ease, so that's pretty good. You've also got a button at the top there, which is usually used for DPI, as well as buttons on the side, which you usually use for back and forward on the internet. Obviously, depending on the game you're playing, you can bind those keys to something specific like jump, run, kneel, whatever you want it to do. So that's pretty straightforward. On the bottom, you do have two buttons. This is basically your RGB button. You will press that to adjust your RGB, uh, and then different combinations of buttons on the mouse will adjust different things from speed to breathing, effects to color and so forth. And then you've also got a switch here, for the, which is for your polling rate as well. You can adjust the polling rate on there between 125, 500, and 1000 Hertz. If you're not sure what that basically means, that means how often it basically ch um, updates via the computer. So basically 100 Hertz means that it's reporting back to the co um, computer 100 times for every second. When it's on the setting of 1000, that means it's reporting back at 1000 times every second. So again, it adjusts how responses, responsive it is. Um, not like DPI, which is basically how quick it moves, um, but the actual uh, responsiveness of the actual mouse. Some people may not notice a difference, some people may, some prefer it lower, some prefer it higher. Uh, sometimes if you have the polling rate too high, uh, it sometimes picks up a lot of shakes and stuff, as well as having the DPI high at the same time. You get a lot of shakes if your hand shakes a little bit or anything like that. But again, that's totally up to you. The cable itself is nice braided cable. It's a soft cable, not a rough, uh, rough cable, so that's quite nice. It does come with a little band on it, which is attached to it. Which is nice. It's very nice. Very nice. The braiding feels like a, a soft cloth. It's probably the best way of putting it. And as you can see, it's it doesn't force itself back to being a specific way or anything like that. So it's a very nice cable and apparently pretty sturdy. Okay, as you can see there, we have got the RGB lighting effects on here. There's lots of different options you can choose from, but first, before we go into all those, to change the back. So if you want to change the back, it's fairly easy. There's a little sort of like hole or cut out at the bottom or at the back, which you just flip up and the back comes off. And you can see the inside of the mouse there, and it's even lit up with their logo on the inside. You get your other back, and it basically just slides in to place and then clip down. That's if you get it right and not put it in an angle like I just did. The wonders of using YouTube. And here we go. There we go. So that's clipped in and it's on. So you probably look at that and go, hey, that looks exactly the same as before. What's the con here? They're not. They look very similar. But there is a slight difference. This one is more raised. Ideal if you're wanting to use the mouse 
with your palm, so palm grip, but if you put the other one on, that is more designed for your claw grip because it isn't as high backed. There's very little in it, I must admit, but it does make a difference. That's enough to rise my hand off the mouse where it's not touching it, so that is classed as a claw grip. And just to show you the difference, if I put them side by side, you can probably see the, the differences between the two. Okay, so one thing to take note of is obviously all the holes in it. You're probably thinking, why has it got loads of holes in it? Couldn't they afford a full piece of plastic? Well, yes, they can. It's a design preference, obviously, it's up to you if you like it or not. But not only that, it does have advantages and disadvantages when using it. One of the disadvantages is it's easy to get dirty and dirt stuck in the holes, and which can be a bit of a pain to clean out. Advantages with this mouse, you can take the back off and clean those ones out with ease, otherwise you're going to be getting a cotton bud to clean it out, which can be a bit of a pain. Also, obviously, with the holes, it lets you see all the inside, so you can see the lighting effects and stuff like that. Which, in all honesty, when you've got your hand on the mouse, you're not going to see much of it anyway, because you're going to be staring at the screen. So, it's only, obviously, for looks when you're not holding it. Okay? This cheese grater effect, as they call it, um, does have other advantages. One of the main ones is it does help with a grip. So... Obviously, all the little holes help you grip with your hand onto the mouse, especially onto the side where you're going to be gripping it with your thumb. It does help grip, so it saves them having to put like rubber bits on the side for you to actually grip on, which is another bonus as well. One of the things, though, is obviously when you add lots of holes into a device, it's going to make it really weak, um, as in it's going to break easily. But... This is actually quite sturdy. I can put as pretty much as much pressure I want on the sides and it's not gonna break. And just to give you an idea, that would normally break a lot of mouses which have got um, this sort of effect on because the plastic isn't very strong. But on this, it is actually pretty good. Okay, so I've turned a lot of the lights off in the studio so you can see the RGB effects on here a bit better. As you can see, there's sort of like a, uh, a U shape what goes around the front of the mouse and down the side where the buttons are there. And you can sort of see RGB effects from the inside as well and where their logo is, which you can't really make out is actually their logo unless you look at it at a certain angle or even take the back off. But the actual effects are quite effective. They're quite bright and vivid, so you shouldn't have much in the way of issues there. To change the effects, you basically hold down the RGB button on the bottom. And then there's lots of different buttons you can choose to change different effects, but I'm going to use the DPI button to change different effects. And as you can see there, it changes the effect. So that's off. Then you've got sort of like a pulsating. And it looks like that's off as well. And then we've got obviously a different color cycle going off there. And there's quite a few different ones on there, depending on how you want it. It looks like a clock effect, RGB clock effect. So it looks like it's gone off again. And then you've got another pulsating. So there's quite a few different effects there depending on how you want it to look. So you've got something for everyone. Just bear in mind you don't have any specific software or at least none that I can find or they've got listed on their support page uh, to alter any of this. But otherwise uh, the RGB effects do look pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is a sound test, so you can hear how loud the actual buttons are. If you're not sure what this thing is, it's basically a microphone or a wireless one, and the receiver is just there. So you should be able to hear, obviously, me talking at the moment. So, for example, one, two, three, and you should be able to hear me when I'm clicking the buttons. So it gives you a rough idea how loud it is. So that's the end of the sound test. To me, it's fairly okay. I wouldn't say it's the quietest mouse in the world, 
but it's very acceptable, especially for a durable gaming mouse. So I personally, I don't see any issues with that, and I don't foresee it driving anyone crazy because of too many clicking noises. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. It's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel, and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you, and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.